Hey, what's up and welcome back. As you just saw, we're going to be opening the 5-in-1 heat press. If you guys have been following me from the beginning, when I first opened up my 16x20 heat press, uh, once I took it out of the crate, that one came in a crate because it was a lot bigger. Um, once I took it out of the crate, the box that was on the inside looked exactly like this. So I'm guessing either these are made by the same company. They got in touch with me on Instagram, asked me if I would do a review on their 5-in-1 heat press and let them know what I thought about it. So as we know, it comes with a 12x12, the mug press, the cap press, and two plate presses. So I'm not going to be able to press anything on plates and I won't be able to press anything on mugs because I don't have a sublimation printer yet. We're in the process of getting one. We're just still, like I said in the last video, uh, trying to determine which one to get. I don't want to buy a low-end sublimation printer and then down the road decide that I want something better because I should have just did that in the first place. So let's go ahead and start opening up this thing. So here's the mug press. Uh, here it is right here. And we can adjust it here if we have to. So here's a, here is one of the plate presses right here. One of them, here's the other one. Like so here is the cap press. This piece here is like the spongy piece. See this corner right here. And then if we look at the inside of the box, there's actually no damage on the inside. So the packaging for this press is not bad. And then here's the top piece. Which fits right in there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take this plastic off. There's a little chair in the bag right here, but it's a bag, who cares? Comes up, swings away. This is probably bigger than a 12 by 12, 12 by 15. Here's the foam that it came with on top of it. The plate. Swing away. Guess this is how you lower it to give more pressure. Right here, right here is a quick disconnect. What you would do, come in here, loosen it up. And it'll come right out. If we look right here in this groove, you're gonna see this slit that's right here. That slit right there is like a, is like a key. It only goes in one way. So you got four prongs here. You're gonna have four prongs on the inside of here. And it can only go in one way. And this slit will have to go into that keyhole that's over here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this plate off. And we're going to see what else we can put on there next. Alright, so as we can see, I couldn't get these off. These things right here, uh, they're extremely hard to get off. So what I had to go do, got one of these for some leverage. Put it in there and spin it. That, now we got them loose. We can pick this up. And we'll, so here's the first plate right here. Now we can move it out of the way. All right, so now that we got that one out the way, we're going to go ahead and we're going to install this one. So these have screws right here on top. And... I guess you have to adjust these to put it on there yourself. So I guess we adjust it to that. Um, I don't see any way to tighten them because there's no way to get this. There's no holes up here. There's really no way to get to those screws at that angle or this angle. The mug press, here's the mug press right here. It's it seems pretty heavy duty. It's not super thick metal on the sides. 
Um, it looks all right. If you had to adjust this, you could, depending on the size of mug or whatever you were pressing. You'd put your mug in here and then you would clamp it down. But obviously if it's too much, you're going to back this up a little bit. Good thing about it, the way that it flexes so that it will get the whole cup. Obviously it's not going to get this piece, it never does. Okay, now that I've removed these four wing nuts right here, the four wing nuts sat under here. There's four of them. As soon as you get that out, as soon as you take those four off, this piece right here will come right up. As if we look right here, this has two wing nuts on it. Same thing, we're just going to pull these two off. Don't lose them. We're going to put this piece on here. Then the wing nuts, you just type, tighten them down. So this one right here actually has wing nuts on top. It's not like the plate press where it's got actual two actual screws on top. So this one, we'll just loosen these up enough. So we'll just go all the way out with it. Then we're going to put it back in there. Tighten up these wing nuts. So with the half press, you can go however high you want. This one, you obviously have to go higher with it. Till we get it where we want it, till it clamps down. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. So here's with the Gildan brand. It's a small. I usually just rip these off, come in here, and pull this stuff out of here. Thing I'm gonna like about this here is whenever I put my shirt tags on, all I have to do is line it up, just like this. Pull this down. I have a bunch of shirt tags right here. These are white ones for the black shirts. So I'm gonna cut one of these out. So, I'm gonna do, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna plug it in. We're gonna see how this display looks. Uh, this one has Celsius and Fahrenheit, so we'll be able to do Fahrenheit. Uh, as y'all know, my 16 by 20 only does Celsius, so that's gonna be something different on this, and I'll actually see the temperature. Not like on mine, where I have to go and convert it. So let's go ahead, turn this on. So we're gonna get our temperature up to 320 degrees. We could press this shirt tag on this shirt um, as you can see it rises pretty fast so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this on here right in the middle we're gonna get our our piece it's already inverted we're gonna press this for 15 seconds so what I'm gonna do lay it right there in the middle Um, and see what it looks like. Move this out of the way. And there it is. So as you can see now, the shirt now has a shirt tag instead of the tag that it originally comes with. Alright, so we got our pieces cut. We're gonna be cutting this. We're gonna be putting this on the back, this in the front, and then of course we got a flag also. We're gonna be pressing all three of these. So this piece right here is from straight from home. He printed these off for me. Um, what we're gonna do with these is I'm gonna get a shirt that I do sample presses on, and I'm gonna press this with my 16 by 20 heat press. I don't wanna mess this up. I don't wanna press on here and mess it up because I'm out of yellow and they need this shirt for tomorrow. So I will press this on my big heat press just to be sure. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna press this. All right, so what we got here, we got the Gimme 5 product from B-Flex again. We're gonna be pressing this right here. 285 degrees it's only for four seconds so we're gonna press it and see how it looks
pressed good as I peeled it off. Y'all saw when I peeled it off, it didn't give me no problems. And remember, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch this time on here just to show you this again. Unlike unlike other stuff, I'll put this for three seconds. Um, as with anything else, you have to use if you're gonna give it a second press. I always give everything a second press just for security reasons. With the Gimme 5 product, you do not have to use a Teflon sheet to go over it or wax paper, whatever you use. Um, the Gimme 5 product, you can repress it just like this and you don't have to worry about the vinyl sticking to the top. So like I said, that was just a quick press. Obviously, it's just four seconds anyway. So there it is. As you can see, none of it stuck to the top of that. Just this piece right here. I'm going to switch my time because I did switch it for three seconds. So as you can see there, we got four seconds. We're going to hit OK. We're going to give it a press. So there's that one. So the good thing about this press right here is once you get it up, you can move it out the way. That's a good thing about it. So we're going to do it again. One more additional press. Again, the Gimme 5 product presses in 4 seconds. No Teflon paper. Alright, so now we're going to press this flag on here. So with this piece right here, it makes it a whole lot easier. Um, I can find just to find the middle of the shirt, just put it on the edge right here. And I know I have the middle because of the seam line right there. You can see this seam line comes up here. Again, this is the Gimme 5 product for five seconds. Four seconds. Why is it called Gimme 5? Because it's the Gimme 5 product. So there's the flag. The Gimme 5 that press presses in four seconds. Pretty good. I'm going to press it a second time just to press it one more time, but it actually feels pretty good. Again, no Teflon paper, straight press on the vinyl, and that looks good. All right, so before we get into um, pressing this piece right here, this is the piece we're going to press on here. This is just a sample shirt that I'm going to use. I want to do a test press, like I said. I don't want to do it on here and mess it up. But before we do that, and it's going to give an additional press to this shirt that we just pressed on that 5-in-1 press right there. I want to show you what I look for whenever I press a shirt. So if we look at this right here, you can see the actual garment through the vinyl. And that's what I look for so that I know... That it got a good adhesive uh, stick to the actual garment and there's nothing that should peel up I haven't had any problems with gimme five since I started using it um, so I don't think there'll be a problem with it I just wanted to show you guys if we look at this if we look at this flag right here you can see the actual lines of the shirt going through the vinyl and that's what I like to look for same thing in the back if we look at this T right here as we go through the So that's something I just wanted to show you before I pressed it again. I didn't want anybody saying um, that I pressed it with my press to make sure that it got a good stick. So um, for that little press over there, the 5-in-1, um, with the, the hat press that I used today and the 15 by 12 to do the back, it actually pressed pretty good. Alright, so our temperature is up to where we need it to be. So we're going to press this. It's got to be 30 seconds, like I said. This right here is just a test shirt that I use. Um, I went over the instructions again, so if you can see, if you can see here, it's got purple, it's got the dark purple lines, and then it's got the light purple lines. It said to make sure that the purple lines were facing up. The purple lines are facing up, so we're gonna press this, and it's gonna be 30 seconds, so we'll speed through this. All right, so it says once you once it's done, to peel it slowly so that you don't scratch the image of it. So what we're going to go is we're going to pull it apart slowly.
So for this heat press right here, I think $219.99 or $220 is not bad. If you're looking to start up and you don't want to spend five or six hundred dollars on something like this or the, into the thousands um i would say that this isn't bad 220 dollars and not only you don't only get that but you get the five in one so you got this right here you got the mugs you got the caps and then you got two plate presses um the only thing the only thing i could say that i didn't like about it was whenever you go to put this plate press on there there's nowhere to tighten these screws you just got to put it in there and use it like that so this wire that runs right here runs right next so you can see this it's all black so I'm not sure if you can see it but this wire right here runs right next to this wire if you're not careful when you're unscrewing this get this unscrewed out and then if you go to pull this you will you could pull this wire out with it so I mean this wire has a lot of play in there but you just have to be careful because if you pull it out I don't know what it's running to up here I get I don't know if it's running to letting the press know that it's open or what it's doing just be careful when you're pulling this wire out that you don't yank this wire if you do get this press. Um, other than that, oh, one more thing is whenever you're using this press and you're going to switch out to something else, if you move this over here and you go to take this plate off right here, it will tip over because that side is going to be heavier. So just be careful um, because the weight, it's actually balancing out with these two. So make sure... Um, you have it around right here have it around right there take this bottom plate off or take this plate all right so as y'all saw the five in one heat press we did the unboxing we did a couple sample presses i wasn't able to do the cup and i wasn't able to do the plates um, i'm looking like i said to get sublimation printer we just haven't got it yet it's not a bad heat press for 220 dollars if you're looking to start off if you haven't started you're just thinking about starting and you're and you're joining my channel uh, this isn't a bad press to start with. There will probably be people on here saying that these heat presses are no good, that they're going to burn out. Like I said in the beginning, this 16 by 20 that I have over here, I've had it for over a year, not had any problems with it. So whenever they ask me to do a review on this one, I didn't care because I already know this product right here, I've had it for over a year. But with this 5-in-1 heat press, you get five different things, not like mine where I only have one. As y'all saw, I was able to press the flags a whole lot easier than putting the sponge in between the shirt. Uh, same thing with the, the shirt tags. I don't have to use the sponge. I'll simply just flip it over, put it on there, press it, and I'm done with it. Um, it's going to save me a lot of time. I'm getting ready to do 100 shirts, and there's going to be a lot of there's going to be 100 flags, so it's going to save me a lot of time. So, with that being said, it's not a bad press for $220. I'll put the link down in the description of the people that sent it to me it's on Amazon I believe but again I'll put this link down in the description so if you want you can go down there and check it out and then again with that P press we pressed the gimme five product again we pressed the front we did a flag on the right the inverted flag it's not on the wrong side and then the back like I said what I look for whenever I press my shirts is to make sure that I can see the fabric pressing into the vinyl making sure that it got a good adhesive that's something that I like to do. Everybody has their own way of doing it. That's just something I like to do. Again, I want to say thanks to Straight From Home from Facebook. They sent me these right here. I um, appreciate you guys for sending me these. They came out good, exactly like you said. The instructions were on point. All right, so that's the end of this video. My next video is what I'm going to be doing is this rotisserie. Not the rotisserie, but the tumbler. I'm going to be making a tumbler. Again, here's the tumbler, uh, rotisserie turner. I already got the rotisserie turner. I already bought the wood. Here is the, what is this called again? The epoxy. The epoxy that I'm gonna use. And then, I don't know what we're gonna do yet, but we're gonna do these. This one here is gonna be for my niece Lexi. She, we went to Hobby Lobby. I let her pick out the glitter. So this is the glitter she picked. Pink and purple. So we're gonna do something with this. 
uh, in the next video, see how it comes out. Me and Lexi want to say thank you for watching, and until next time, keep pressing.